Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a video on QuickPick. QuickPick is an awesome little application that allows you to add custom links to your notification center. So for example, if I want, I can go straight to make a new tweet. And keep in mind, this is not just opening the Twitter application. This is actually going into the Twitter application and creating a new tweet, which is pretty neat. On top of that, you can also open up a Safari link. So for example, uh, you know, if I feel like I'm not wasting quite enough time today, I can just immediately get to Reddit and waste a few more hours. Uh, you can also do different things. For example, you can call and text people. You can also email them. I won't demo that. I don't want to show anybody's phone number or anything like that. But of course, that does work. And on top of that, you can also get to system settings. So for example, if you want to you know, really quickly get to your brightness, turn on and off Wi-Fi, 3G, etc., this is a great way to go. So let me give you guys a little demo of how this works. So all you need to do is open up the QuickPick application. And one of the really nice things about this is that it does not require a jailbroken device. This is an app that you can download in the App Store. So I'll go ahead and make a new one here. Uh, the application is very, very basic, very simple. Basically, the entire point of the application is just to be able to get your links here. So don't expect anything really amazing. Uh, what you can do is you can add up to five links if you have an iPhone. And if you have an iPad, you can have up to ten. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and just give you guys a demo of how to make them. Uh, so if you want to, there are a few presets. So for example, if you want to make a call to somebody, open a website, uh, compose a new email or text message, you can just set those up automatically and you can just pick them out from your contacts. But if you want to do something a little bit more advanced, you can just do it manually. So for example, I want to, let's say I want to create something for Wi-Fi. So I want to just punch in Wi-Fi here as the title and that's why it will show up up there. And then I can create the link. Now the links are actually a little bit more tricky. Uh, there are links for pretty much everything on your device. So you know, pretty much all apps can be open with links. Uh, and like I said, there's settings, there's all kinds of stuff, but these really require you to actually find the links themselves. Uh, I will have as many of them as I can put in the description, but it really helps if you can actually find them yourself. But I will go ahead and try to show you guys a couple. Uh, so for example, if you want to do something like preferences, uh, you can just do this. So I will just add up here, it's prefs. And this is, of course, to get a really straight toggle to Wi-Fi. It's going to be a semicolon. Then we have root equals, in all caps, Wi-Fi. Uh, the way that works is, for the most part, like if you want to get to settings, you can just go prefs, semicolon, root, equals, and then you know Wi-Fi or whatever like that. So once you're done with that, you can click Done, pull your notification center down, and if I click on it now, it will take me straight to Wi-Fi so I can turn it on, off, etc., etc. Quick Pick is a dollar in the App Store, and if you're interested, I would highly recommend getting on it sooner rather than later. These kind of apps have a way of disappearing from the App Store after a few days once Apple catches wind of them. So if you're interested, again, just look up its Quick Pick in the App Store. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe.